Parental discretion is advised. This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Wrestling Stances, Wrestling Vehicles, and Wrestling Ladders, ACH, Scissoring, and Donald Trump, we get healthy with DDP Yoga, all that and more. Stick around. This week's Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by Chicken Wings, because eating chicken should be harder. Good evening. Welcome to Mayhemist of the Wrestling Shows, the Wrestling Mayhem Show 358. I know that because the dock is open. I am <laughs> Sorgatron, your MC for this evening, ready to take you on a ride of mayhem from the studios, the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, joining me, as he usually does, my manservant on the count, uh, couch, Mr. Chachi of InsertCoinToBegin.com, at Chachi, says, How are you this evening, sir? I am doing fantastically well, my good man. Good, good, yes. good. Uh, also joining us uh, from Johnstown, it's a little wet there, Bobby F. J. Town. the F is for fancy. Actually, the, uh, the rain is now frozen. And we're going to hit an iceberg. My house. Dead ahead. Dead ahead. Yeah. Also joining us from the desert of San Antonio, Texas, is the Wrestle Fan. Hello, Sorgatron. Uh, uh, we're for, so in your future forecast, we'll be uh, experiencing forty percent chance of rain uh, uh, with slight uh, wind gusts. So uh, look look out for that this weekend. And yeah. Also join us from the catacombs is Will, Sir William C. Cumberbottom, also known as Papa Lunchbox. How are you this evening, sir? I'm excellent. I've been doing uh, methamphetamines and angel dust all day. Pretty sure I'm living the movie Groundhog's Day, except in modern life, and I keep doing this podcast. I just took a huge gulp of my drink and spit all back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we pretend to do impressions. I would just like to uh, point out that you should not do meth or <laughs> amphetamines. Um, we are trained global performers. <laughs> yes, um, Listen, they cancel each other out. No, they, they really they just don't. kind of cancel each other out, and they leave you okay. with a nice bug, okay, like coffee, but science. with metal in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we are trained pharmacists. Do not try this at home. Maybe without a degree. Net. <laughs> I've might, seen Breaking Bad. I'm not a pharmacist, but I might know a guy. Yeah. Uh, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, you can find out about us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Blip TV, Roku, and the YouTubes in video or audio formats. Thank you for finding us on one of those formats, if not some alternative. I'm not sure where we're at right now. I hope you know where we're at. Uh, you can also drop Where us a line. Where are my pants? Oh, no. You can drop us a line at good times. Good times. At wrestlingmayhemshow.com or drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0. And an update, I can't feel my toes on my right foot. Uh, also, you can drop a line at the... Uh, no, you can pick up WMS Gold, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, on your uh, iPhone app or uh, Android device uh, through the Amazon uh, App Store. Uh, quick links so you can uh, uh, contact us in all those ways we talked about before. And also exclusive content with the Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold uh, uh, you know, the little bits before or after between the show, whatever we might sprinkle in there. It's a dollar ninety nine, and it shows you uh, believe in us enough to give us some of your hard earned money, or at least a third of your hard earned money to us. The other third to Apple, and the other third to those fine people at Libsyn and Wizard Technologies. Uh, uh, and of course, you can join us live here at live.sorgatronmedia.com we're getting going about 9 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night and the people are in there okay a little weaker tonight where'd everybody go they were all there before yeah 
Um, like I think we didn't, we didn't start the show by screaming, so they all fled. <laughs> Apparently, they were like, "Oh, I'm obviously on the wrong channel. This is not the Justin TV I was looking for." Four of us are in there, <laughs> <laughs> and then one who's not us. <laughs> it's one guy that's not us. I remember they were, they were there before the wrestling people were there for the tech show, and they got mad about the PlayStation Four and left. Um, they, of course, we do other shows here on Tuesday, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, talking tech uh, eight, around 8 p.m. or so, talking video games, of course, here with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. So the three sides of my personality, at least, hopefully it fits into some of yours as well. So let's start the show the only way we know how. I hope the pants are already off, because that's the first step. The second step is the fan mail. Who's up first? Uh, oh, no. Mr. Josh? Let's see. Email, email, what, what, email. Hey, 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 Super it's... Strong, bad. That was good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those were the Sorry. days. Was... Hey, 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 it's me, it's me, it's Zero 2K, stealing your catchphrases since 1984. I love that everyone's just using the same intro to their emails now. <laughs> We should have we should have done all of our intros yeah, like PPC. that. It's me, it's yeah. me, it's DJ Lunchbox. Those not the same ring. Let's talk about Raw. Blood <laughs> and the first match of the year contender. Holy bonkers. Punk and Cena just showed me that I rather watch this as the main event of WrestleMania than Rock Cena 2 Greatness versus Redemption. That was a crazy match. The whole swagger drugs. I just want to bring something to the table. Bruno San Martino wasn't one of the main reasons he came back because WWE is now clean and they're enforcing their wellness policy. And now Swagger gets busted drunk with butt and he is not removed. I wonder how San Martino feels about this. What do you guys think? I'm guessing the show will eventually touch on this, but should Swagger be removed or just let it play out? Anyway, one last thing. Fandango. Fandango. This Friday, who will be the man to do the first job to Fandango? Sierra 2K out. The two is for the quantity two. So what do we think of what's <laughs> going <laughs> That was good. <laughs> oh, and, well, okay, with the with the Bruno San Martino thing, I think the thing like with him and the wellness policy was more about like the steroid use. Not necessarily like alcohol and drugs. I think that is mostly it. Yeah, he would say he wanted to clean up a bit. I mean, there was. I mean, I don't think there's as much like cocaine use as there was in the '80s, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that's you know just one of the aspects where we're, we're concerned with here. So yeah, yeah. Um, Let the boy have his weed. <laughs> exactly. Right? Well, well, well. Okay, but also to put him in, in behind the wheel of a car. Yeah, that's yeah. True. I think that's, I that's think I think part. general uh, generally like yes, the the guy that's supposed to be a role model because he's a wrestler, although he's a bad guy. So I think that makes it a little okay. If this happened to John <laughs> Cena, I think it'd be a bigger problem, right? Um, but you know, it, it's more a problem that he did have a DUI versus hey, the weed. I think. Can I just throw something out there? Throw it, Shachi. Evan Bourne. Yeah, he can fly. Evan Bourne didn't have a DUI, though. I have a feeling... Exactly! Evan Bourne didn't have a DUI, but he was still suspended and then shit-canned. He's not yeah. shit-canned. No, he's still he's still part of it, isn't he? Well, he's no, poorly, but he's not being used. I yeah. have Evan Bourne in the, the pool. Injury. In the pool? <laughs> in the, I have him in the fire. Oh, well, in, well, in he's the still under contract, pool, right? but he's being Zack ryder right now. No, not even that. No, not even that. No, 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 that guy gets like a TV. He's not even showing up. Yeah, yeah, he's not even showing up the shows. Um, I, in, in, I Ooh, think Zach Ryder doesn't have to show up the shows either, but he does because he <laughs> likes the catering. <laughs> His Twitter yeah. account tells me that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Zach Ryder. We're just throwing it out there. <laughs> uh, but no, I think Evan Bourne is a whole other situation because it's uh, there's a couple of offenses there for one thing, and I think it was something else uh, or synthetic weed or something. Um, which maybe that's worse. I don't know. Uh, and this wasn't like the drug po- uh, drug policy catch. This was something else. Um, mm-hmm. And if it's into his character, somebody will just roll with it. You know, they didn't do anything different on Monday, did they? Maybe he definitely won't win the title at, at WrestleMania or something. Yeah, but other than that, so. um, I don't think. Yeah, it's. it's I don't think Del Rio is going to keep it either. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we all know where this is going. Yep. <laughs> uh, so it's like, meh, whatever. He's going to 
Whatever. It'll make us money. Whatever. Um, so, with that. All right. Who's got the next one? Is this you, LB? Yep. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's me. It's me. It's Big PPC, motherfucking fan of the year. What's up, Mayhem crew? I scrolled away from the email. <laughs> <laughs> the, the document the, it is not uh, with the directional here we go uh, so did not get to see raw swags need to needs to not get punished it is pushed to mania hopefully still happens this is swags first time getting in trouble everyone should get one bad thing or uh, get out of or get one get out of jail free card right uh, sounds like big PPC's been to prison. <laughs> uh, let me know when the spelling bee is. This guy and my spelling errors. Ten C, ten C, ten C. What the fuck ever, and who gives a shit? I suck at spelling. Fact. Thanks for putting up with my spelling errors, Sir Lunchbox. My distinct pleasure. <laughs> Anyways, Bully Ray has to marry Hogan's daughter to get one get a legit one-on-one -on -one title match against Hardy for title. Seems pretty fucked up to me. Kind of the same fucked up as Hogan rubbing lotion on his daughter's ass. Yikes, brother. Look, man, I'm from the country. That's how we do things. Hogan's <laughs> with a shotgun. Hope Bully Ray tears Jeff Hardy a new one. That's also how we do it in the country. <laughs> Fact, aces and eights are fucking everywhere. Yikes, so many people in one group. NWO, biker gang, meat carters. Damn. Probably not enough time for any raw rundown, so... Questions. Uh, so if you could book one match for WrestleMania this year with anyone... Who would it be? Undertaker was at a house show in Waco, Texas. Uh, <laughs> it, it was named after the Warner brother. He's correct in the spelling. Uh, against Wade Barrett and Cesaro or someone against Taker and Sheamus. Who will Undertaker take at Mania? Uh, Sheamus, Ryback and Taker against The Shield? Uh, maybe. Take care uh, till next week. It's me, it's me, it's it, big PPC, take care, mayhem crew. I may send in another, but probably not sent from my iPhone. Spoiler alert, he did not send in another. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, LB uh, and big PPC. Uh, so the question, what would you uh, book this year for WrestleMania? What do you think needs to be uh, stuck in there, guys? Hmm. I know it's not going to happen. Go for Stone it. Stone Cold, Stone Cold versus CM Punk. Yeah. I want that so bad and it's not going to happen. Not this nope. year. Maybe don't want it. Like that. Maybe uh, it why don't you want it? Because it's going to end up being another Taker versus anyone match where Ow. the other guy has to carry Stone Cold for the entire match. And I, no, I don't want no, it. I don't uh, think he watch, has to carry Stone Cold. Are you, you kidding watch, me? Oh, good. He'll have to carry Stone Cold. Why? Stone what? Cold, no, he doesn't have it anymore. If you watch Tough Sorg, Enough. You don't know that. I do. Sorg, I think, I think we said the same thing about The Rock, and he's being have to be carried in every match yeah. that he's been in. Did you watch Tough Enough, what, two years ago? Yeah. No. Stone Cold had that match with that Luke kid, and they put on a pretty good match. Yeah, if I remember correctly. I mean, that's the and thing. Like, like the, you look at Rock. You look at Rock. Rock was never a technical wrestler, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we forget that he was the you know Stone Cold was the ringmaster before he was. He I don't was, think the Rock. That's the thing. I don't think the Rock like ever had matches. No, no, no. He, he was <laughs> never. He was never. He was. He was basically John Cena before he was John Cena. I don't. I don't consider. I don't consider the Rock a better wrestler than John Cena. But he's he a also, better personality. Like, had energy yeah. back in the day. Exactly, exactly. It was all about the energy. Um, but it was always the great matches were made with him and Triple H and Stone Cold, or 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 you know for what they did with McFoley. You know, um, so I, I think uh, I think Stone Cold is one of those guys that that's going to be able to come back as long as he's healthy and he's looking good at least. I don't think he can. Um, that's, that's the only thing. Is he healthy? Is the neck good? Mm. You know, is he doing his DDP yoga? <laughs> I want to smack you. DDP yoga. <laughs> That's why you why hate. I wait, what, Chachi? Why do you hate DDP yoga? Uh, it's yoga. 
If if you do no, no, enough yoga, yoga, dude, Jake, Jake it the Snake Jake Roberts Jake Roberts' life. Have you seen what happened to Jake hey. Roberts? It didn't save his life. All right, rehab saved his life. No, no, there's no okay, rehab. So. Rehab failed. He went and lived if, with DDP for sixty days, and he came back a new man, half of a new man at least. Okay, when you go to live with someone who's clean, yeah, for thirty, sixty, ninety days, mm-hmm. that's another way of saying rehab. Okay, but it's DDP's rehab. Oh, I think this is different. I, this is, I have no, a this is not different. I when you, legitimate... as a drug user, go and live with someone for the specific pers- purpose of uh, staying away from the bad influence of drugs, that is called rehab. I, and... <laughs> I am, am going to destroy you. Put the book down. <laughs> you will listen to me when I speak. Oh, oh, oh you turned it off. Oh, I reset the you video. turned it off. Well, you technical no. difficulties. <laughs> One fish, two fish, three. Hmm. I'll go technical to African island of Yurka and bring back a tizzy top tufted mazurka. Hmm. Oh, wow. I have a legitimate question about DDP yoga. Okay. Uh, if you do enough of it, can you self high five yourself? <laughs> That should be a slogan, right? Yeah. It has to be. And I, I, I can speak to yoga. I, uh, why don't they do that? I swear. Why don't they do a commercial with like a giant fat dude and he can't like get his arms close enough to self high five himself? I volunteer. <laughs> no, Bobby. Uh, I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't self high five myself. Yo, Bobby, Bobby, if we put, get a fun together and we, I don't know, what, what is DDP yoga? Is it, is it a bunch of tapes? Is it, what, what, what is this? Is it a book? Um, it comes to your house. It's a lifestyle. So I, I understand Dang. that part of it. Okay. But if I put in for DDP yoga, Bobby, will you do DDP yoga? I, I will try it. We have none. You, you have to like like we're gonna have to have to come up with it. This is something we're, we'll talk about. But okay, we're gonna hear, drink a lot of alcohol first, <laughs> and get, get no. You don't have in a wheelchair. To, you don't have to get to the Jake Roberts part for us. Just uh, no. do the yoga. If I'm doing yoga, I am getting fucking wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna destroy I will, myself. I will live on the street and talk to pigeons. That's how wrecked I will be. <laughs> And then I'll have to go live with Lunchbox for sixty days. <laughs> and I'll why is, why is lunch? do a different kind of yoga. And I will get him wrecked. Lunchbox, lunchbox yoga, yoga is a very hot scientific yoga. Experiment, Bobby. You do Not have the way to do a thinking. shit ton of meth, okay. and then see if, see if it has any effect on you. Okay, I- I'm game for that. <laughs> no, no, no. no. See, if, if I go, if I go live with Lunchbox. Uh, that isn't a calming or cleaning influence. If anything, he'll just get as wrecked as I am. And then we'll have to go live with Bobby. I have a plan. I have a plan. Mayhem Show Poop House. <laughs> Invite DDP to come and do DDP yoga with us for maybe 500 weeks. And then, 500 weeks! <laughs> and then, that, then by the end, we'll all be just ripped and not on drugs and not on alcohol. Right, anyhow, uh, <laughs> Lunchbox, then, uh, WrestleMania <laughs> match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, there was a question! Book it. Keeping us on track. I would like to see, um, uh, see uh, uh, John Cena versus The Rock versus CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stretch. Uh, thank I you really for that. Would, I, really, I, don't, I really still want CM Punk to go into that... Um, be slid into that match somehow. Give happen. the Undertaker a year off. Yeah, give him a year off, or give him a nice big retirement ceremony. Um, he's had he's twenty and zero, and that's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely fit. My camera is in trouble here. He, it's fantastic. He's twenty and zero. That's great. Let him retire. Um, put CM Punk in a triple threat match. Mm-hmm. Are you a wrestle fan? Uh, if I could book a match for WrestleMania, it would be. A gauntlet match of sorts. Uh, Mark Henry versus every wrestler in the WWE roster that's under 200 pounds. Uh, and he would just run through them. like, And it'd be like a three-minute match at awesome. most. Bobby. So, yeah. Bobby already went. 
Oh, he, he led us down the path of drugs I, and I, yoga. I, he <laughs> knows did, he already did you do he just one? wanted no. to say hi. What you got? Um, I, I would like to see uh, Daniel Bryan's versus Alberto Del Rio. Ooh. And not Jack Swagger in any capacity. Well, it, it kind of a spinoff with that, I'd like to see uh, Daniel Bryan punk as a WrestleMania match. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that would be amazing from what we saw before. Just, just, um, just do it again. But to go with what Lunchbox said, I, I think they should do an Undertaker retirement ceremony mm. and give him his 21st WrestleMania match. But that guy from uh, that show that doesn't really exist that they put in the Royal Rumble. What? Drew Carey? No. <laughs> that guy what? that they brought up from NXT. Oh, Bo, Bo Dallas? Dallas? Yeah, Bo Dallas. I think Bo Dallas should be required by law to go out and just lay down on the mat for Undertaker as his uh, first <laughs> match. That's pretty much what John Gonzalez was, right? right. Um, I, I, I would like to see, because it was teased, it was in the back of my head, it was teased at uh, Royal Rumble. Uh, I'd like to see uh, Goldust versus Cody Rhodes. Yes. Uh, Dusty Rhodes' special guest referee, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why all in the family match. All in the family match. <laughs> exactly. I'd love to let see me, that. Let me ask a question to, to all of you, uh, to the Mayhem Americans out there and uh, you gents on the show. Do we have enough time to build a meaningful program from scratch between now and WrestleMania, do you think? Yes. Uh, yes. The, no, well, no, no. It's how, I think it's all in how you define meaningful. Yeah. Because well, like six weeks in like WWE terms is a lot – you can do plenty. But, like, not in, like, you know, you can necessarily do great pro wrestling. I've already plenty. built an entire storyline in my head um, involving CM Punk. And as much as it pains me to say, uh, The Undertaker. Mm-hmm. In my mind, while you guys were talking. Punk just <laughs> needs to go out there and go. And it will become meaningful. Punk called himself God. That's really. enough right That's there. exactly what That's would it. cause the... Uh, the the WrestleMania match between him and Undertaker. He, he called God's himself demons. God, and Undertaker is the dead man. What was the what was? I mean, look look at what they did with Rock. You right. know, uh, what was that line? Your arms are too short to punch God, or something like that. Or what did with box? Box arms yeah. are too yeah. short to box with God. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, that. Yeah, but that's a like, reference from a song. I know, I know, but still, the delivery it's a from a play. <laughs> Jesus, or a play. Oh, play. Just, just CM Punk flat out calling himself God, dropping yeah. the mic and walking away. Yeah, is enough to build a meaningful storyline for him to face Undertaker at WrestleMania. And there was a lot of stuff going in there. Like I'm an icon, so you're poking at a couple other people. Right. You know, I'm I'm this and I'm that. You know, I thought there was like you couldn't even be just Undertaker because there'd be somebody else. Could the Stone Cold thing come out of left field? Right. I, there was I mean, enough like icon. You know, role. Not, you know, he called himself a bunch of stuff there, but icon really stuck out with me because of the whole Piper Hogan. Sting yeah. thing over the last, you know, Some, years. someone also said uh, possibly Shawn Michaels, and I really hope it's not Shawn yeah. Michaels. I would uh, accept it no, because we already I, had Ric Flair like do a lot of shit after he yeah. retired. You know, so I hope that's not it. Uh, uh, there's a couple in the chat room. Yes, uh, Riz said the Great Khali versus anybody. Okay, everybody. <laughs> uh, Texas Anarchy says I want Ziggler to cash in his Money in the Bank right at the beginning of Cena versus Rock. Rock immediately pins him. Then the regularly scheduled main event continues. Uh, Punk versus Daniel Bryan, eight second Mania match, and Taker versus May Young. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna do punk versus god like Vince McMahon. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I I would just like to point out something that doesn't need pointed out. <laughs> Good job. Um <laughs> so I, I didn't Dude, catch wrestling's all of, fake. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, and, and this is because of Riz, and I thought of it yesterday and I didn't remember until right now. Um I fell asleep uh, shortly after this match, unfortunately, because if I was going to fall asleep, I wish I would fall asleep before it. Um, <laughs> but during or before during the uh, Mark Henry Kali match, it, it, there's something I've noticed recently in Kali matches. Oh yeah, all of his matches take place near the ropes. <laughs> that guy, no, I'm not kidding. Go back and watch. Mm-hmm. That guy is not capable of wrestling a match in the center of the ring. He is not physically capable of doing it. 
Because this is what it means would give out. Which means he shouldn't be in the fucking ring. He's afraid that if he steps in the center, the whole ring's just going to swallow him. No. <laughs> because if you go back and uh, just using the match from last night, if you go back and watch it, the match starts in the corner by the, uh, but uh, one corner by the entrance ramp. All right. They leave the ring, but it's immediately to go to the barricade. <laughs> or the apron of the ring. At which point, Mark Henry struggles to put Kali's big ass back in the ring, and the match resumes right by the ropes. And the only and the only part where they were in the center of the ring was when Mark Henry had already lifted Kali. Yes, Mark Henry had to physically pick up Kali and <laughs> slam him in the middle of the ring for any of that match to take place in the center. It's, it's like when... You teach a little kid how to ice skate. <laughs> and they're right, the they're side of the ring. around on the outside of the ring holding on to the wall. The moral of the story is Greg Kelly should not have his job. Yeah, yeah. Also from the chat room, Texas Anarchy on before. Uh, Sorg, you need to make your house a DDP house. Chachi, Bobby, and WrestleFan will move in. Uh, my house kind of used to be a DDP house, didn't it? No. <laughs> Not at the same time, but yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you rotated through roommates. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um, the best. Yeah. No, Riz, okay, yes. Riz says, fuck all y'all. The great colleague carried that match. No, the ropes <laughs> carried <laughs> that match. The ropes carried that no, match. No, the ropes carried that match, and then Mark Henry carried that match. Literally, he picked it up and just carried it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yes. Uh, we got one more email, amazingly, guys. Oh, do we do oh, that? Yeah. Oh, right. Were you? Really? This was given in a l- last week. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. It says, thoughts from Bo Diggity. <laughs> Woo! It's Bo fucking Diggity. Number one, dear Fox News, sit down. Let's be honest with each other. You're mad because the Tea Party is being portrayed as racist and forget that the WWE is the most casually racist entertainment company of all time. Seriously. There's an unwritten rule about the number of black guys in the ring at one time in the Royal Rumble and you can't convince me otherwise. You weren't watching when they had Billy and Chuck or that time Michael Cole effectively got ass raised by Heidenreich on television. (laughs) Sidebar. R.I.P. Michael Cole's ass. I would love to see a feud between Tensai and Swagger where Swagger goes into a blind rage every time he sees Tensai and just starts screaming, Damn, Damn, Charlie's killed my father! Ah!" And Tensai keeps yelling back, I'm a white guy from Massachusetts! Leave me alone! (laughs) Also, fun fact, Tensai has a degree in sign language. <laughs> That's the type of degree you get when you're given a sports scholarship <laughs> to go to college, <laughs> and you don't actually want to learn anything. Number two. Nobody, nobody puts Prince Albert in a Number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby, no. <laughs> Come on. WWE started the giant, started the giant sta- stadium WrestleMania run with 23 at Ford Field in Detroit. Since then, they haven't been to a stadium with less than 70,000 seats. If the WWE wants to keep having WrestleMania at large stadiums in warm places, they'll likely stick to famous stadiums or stadiums that have NFL teams. That pushes out the college stadiums, which are normally far larger than the pro stadiums. Here are the few likely candidates for future WrestleManias. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, 92,542 seats. The LA Coliseum in Los Angeles, which was supposed to be where Seven was going to be, at over 93,000. The Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Dallas, Texas, 80,000 seats. Highly likely, also, the Cotton Bowl at 92,000 seats is nearby, uh, but this is the newer venue. Uh, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, around D.C., 82,000 seats uh, would have to be a late WrestleMania like this year's. How how anticlimactic would that be if they did a WrestleMania in Maryland? <laughs> in It'd be great. You Maryland. can't even walk there. <laughs> <laughs> Call Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California, and seventy thousand seats. Edward they already did that one. What? No, they no. did Safeco. Never mind. 
Um, Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis, Missouri at 67,000. Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida at 65. And the Alamo Dome in, in, in San Antonio. Isn't the Alamo Dome where that Royal Rumble was from we were watching? Yeah, and that and, uh, Alamo Dome is uh, when uh, TNA is doing the pay-per-view. So that'd be hilarious if a WrestleMania was done in the same place where TNA did a pay-per-view. <laughs> it actually filled it. Yeah. Okay, I would like to... to uh, I, I, I don't disagree with what Bo Diggity oh, is. Can I finish? Yeah, no, he's got another line. Okay. I just want to do because I know we'll go on a tangent. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually really All short. those seat totals are permanently installed seats of the stadium, and actual attendance would be over 70,000, giving the floor seats. Bo F. Diggity, the F is for factual. Chachi? Mm. Um, I, I looked it up, all right? Mm -hmm. And with the. Uh, the expand or the moving of WrestleMania to a northern venue um, with high capacity seating it, it could open up a door. I'm not saying it's possible, but he forgot that I was right because Beaver Stadium. We usually forget that Beaver Stadium in State College holds a hundred and six thousand people. Yeah, uh, that's built in seating. Mm -hmm. So that takes it up to uh, 110,000 easily as far as uh, additional seats and everything. So, uh, like I said last week, that stadium is very likely. Or not very likely, but it is a possibility. They need to do it from the Undertaker's hometown of Death Valley, California. <laughs> oh, I'd like him to do it from Parts Unknown. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta find that place. They have a great crowds, great crowds in parts unknown. A lot of food trucks. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good town. Nice. Amazing. All right, with that, I think I, that uh, is all the fan interactions. Hi, hi Chachi, eating uh, a cracker or cookie or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what's cracker? on your shirt? What? What's on your shirt? This is uh, Angry Birds Star Wars. Okay. It looked like, like a Star Wars thing, but I couldn't uh, uh, quite make present. it out. Uh, from my mother. That is. I want the audio listeners to have the full experience. Sorg is wearing a Angry Birds uh, uh, Star Wars shirt, and I've got a hoodie on. Josh I'm wearing a Doctor Who shirt. Bobby's hair looks magnificent today. I'm wearing a Doctor Who shirt. It's, yes, with uh, with Clara. Very well done. Yeah. This is a perfect way to say me, way, because I'm wearing the brand new ACH t shirt that you can get. And nobody on cares the about your shirt. They want, to, they want to hear about your facial hair, Wrestle Fan. Wrestle Fan How hands. awkward well, 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 the face, the face the is okay. It's fine. <laughs> I wish you'd shave it down to just the mustache. That would make me really. No, I don't look like I don't look good with just. <laughs> he the looks like a child molester. I was. Nobody like has convinced me molester. why he shouldn't do it. Russell fan, when you put that shirt on, do you just get like real stiff? XCH <laughs> <laughs> boner. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me tuck away my boner. <laughs> oh, and then and commence with the indie minutes. Yes, in the minute for this week. Uh, there's a lot. Of, um, my boner apparently is going to be high this week. Um, yeah. So <laughs> what uh, is what is the boner level uh, of this week's indie minute? Uh, it's it's pretty high. Um, uh, so this past weekend uh, down in the Texas area was Anarchy Championship Wrestling's event uh, at the Mohawks in Austin, Texas. It was a really awesome event. Uh, very very cool stuff with the main event of Jimmy Jacobs defeating uh, one Davy Vega in a very awesome contest, uh, and a lot of great stuff from that show all around. Uh, so uh, I believe their next event is April seventh. Uh, and if you want more information on that, you can go to AnarchyChampionshipWrestling dot com. Show them some love. Also go to SmartMarkVideo dot com, Smartmark Video and Smart Mark video on demand.com so you can get uh, their DVDs uh, and other other stuff. So yeah, go check that out. Um, and also, uh, speaking of stuff, cool stuff in the Texas area, the big announcement that came from today, uh, yes, you all should be jealous, Ring of Honor is coming to San Antonio. Woo! Yay! Um, th this is the first time they'll be in Texas since, uh, for like, since uh, I believe 2009 was the last time they were... To Chachi's uh, reading, um, yeah, the fir uh, first time they were Bobby's in. Bobby's got a copy uh, of that. 
<laughs> uh, first time they've been in Texas since 2009, uh, back in, uh, in Houston during WrestleMania weekend. Uh, so yeah, they're coming here June 1st. Uh, that should be a really fun time. Uh, I believe tickets go on sale for that event sometime around March. Uh, so uh, I will definitely be at that event because uh, I'm not missing that. I mean, come on. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a super... Super awesome time. Uh, if you want more information, go to ROHwrestling.com and see if there's an event uh, in your area. Uh, uh, and if you want to check out some Ring of Honor or watch them on your television, uh, on your CW affiliates every week. No, uh, no, 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 that, no, 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 no. It's not CW everywhere. Is it not CW? No, it's not CW everywhere because uh, here it's my Pittsburgh. What it is, it's, it's, it's stations owned by Sinclair. Uh, for uh, instance, here in Pittsburgh, they own actually the Fox and My Network TV. Uh, apparently in your area, obviously the CW network. Well, it, it, actually, they, now that I think about it, they do have one on the CW and also one on the uh, the Fox yeah. affiliate. Yeah. It, 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 it's going to vary uh, uh, from place to place. It, it depends. So, so you get so, you, you yeah. do have to check your local listings. So, check yes. your local listings at rohwrestling dot com. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of transitions to the big story that I do want to mention uh, this week on the Indie Minute. Uh, Ring of Honor did pick up a new signee uh, to uh, uh, their official roster, and that is ACH. Uh, it's uh, a big grab for them, I think. He is really uh, taking the indie wrestling world by storm. He's gotten a lot of buzz as of late, and yeah. I, I think it's a really great grab from them. And, you know, it's exciting for me personally, you know, getting to see him every month and now getting to see him on television every month uh, or and on every week, I guess, for that matter. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be really awesome for him. Big congratulations to ACH. I, I, love the, uh, the, the, I love the twit pick of the picture of him signing the contract. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but very nice. And uh, he, he confirmed the report. Me. So, yeah. Me, me, my hands up. Yeah. Yeah, my hands box. up. I want. I have a question. Yeah, wrestle fan. I have, what is what does ACH stand for? <laughs> ACH uh, is not a person's initials. Uh, uh, it is actually stands for Attitude, Charisma, Heart. He his yes. his full name is Adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his full name <laughs> is Adjectives. Funny enough. So wait, uh, let me get let me. Let me see if I understand this correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, ACH is actually half of the Planeteers. Sorta. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Hmm. So he he really only needs two more people, and they can call Captain Planet. He is he is he is almost com- Captain Planet. Yeah. I Another feel like reason that's why a, a storyline we could see if he had signed with Jakara and not ROH. <laughs> he has he has been doing stuff in Jakara. Uh, he has he's had a good series uh, with uh, Mister Touchdown over the Young Lions Cup. Um, but but uh, yeah, uh, and actually, funny enough, uh, for those who don't know, his first name does start with an H, and his last name does start or first name starts with an A, last name starts with an H. But it's totally what not his ring name stands for. Albert so that's funny Chester enough. Collinsworth. Uh, so yeah, go check that out at rohwrestling.com. <laughs> uh, and uh, go support uh, Ring of Honor, uh, go support ACH, and go support some great independent wrestling. I uh, also want to mention t- uh, an event coming up this weekend, March 1st. Uh, if you're in the Ohio area or if you are a big fan of iPay-Per-Views, uh, AIW Absolute Intense Wrestling is holding their first ever iPay-Per-View from smvod.com, smartmarkvideoondemand.com. Uh, their Girls' Night Out 8 event, that's uh, their big all-female show that they do every year. Uh, it's going to be a really fun time. Uh, it includes four uh, specialty uh, matches that will lead to a Climb the Ranks ladder match uh, for the number one contendership for the AIW women's title. And also, their women's champion, Allison K will be taking on a mystery opponent uh, for that championship. So, like I mentioned, if you want tickets and if you are going to be in the Ohio area and want to check that out, you can go to AIWrestling.com uh, and you can check it out on iPay-Per-View at SMVOD.com. It's only $15 and uh, after the uh, live uh, stream of the event, you get unlimited viewing of it afterwards. So uh, definitely go check that out and uh, go support our good friends at Absolute Intense Wrestling. And the final thing that I do want to mention, uh, it is a couple months away, but I do want to bring up uh, WrestleCon, which is coming uh, April 5th through the 7th uh, in New Jersey. Uh, it's going to be a very, very fun time. Not only do you get to meet like some of the top pro wrestling stars of the past and the present, uh, there's going to be a lot of events going on for uh, Dragon Gate, Evolve, Chikara, 
uh, Shimmer Women's Athletes, CZW, uh, tons and tons of stuff. Uh, you can meet your favorite wrestlers, and you can see a lot of great wrestling that you may not get to see all the time. So, yeah, uh, go check them out. Their website is WrestleCon.com, and you can get your tickets through them. And that, my friends, is the Indie Minute for this week. Thank you, WrestleFan. Side note, uh, Sorgatron Media will be there at WrestleCon along yeah, with Prime Wrestling and a uh, new uh, something something new will be popping up there. And get your yep, picture with Sorgatron because get your Hulk picture. Hogan probably costs too much. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, myself and Joe Dombrowski doing funny, funny things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, and, uh, so Bobby. I do, I do Bobby, understand we are going to try to have some wrestlers at our booth as well, so. Very Bobby cool. was reading uh, the High Roll History. Are you Alexander. eating again? What yeah. the? F- and uh, Lunchbox is reading a book called Unlikely. <laughs> yeah, it's it's by uh, Jeffrey Brown. He writes comics. It's uh, it's really good stuff. Uh, everyone should check it out. I was expanding Unlikely my mind. Unlikely by Jeffrey Brown. Can I mention uh, just one more quick thing? Uh, since Sorg okay, I'm going to read again. Okay. Now, this is good. Since Sorg mentioned Prime Wrestling, uh, I did get to check out a video that was posted, uh, I guess, after one of their TV tapings with uh, Johnny Gargano, who was their champion at the time. They invited, I guess, one of uh, Gargano's biggest fans, uh, a 13-year-old who had been suffering from, I believe, cancer and had going through chemotherapy and stuff like that. And Gargano uh, got to tell this, like, really awesome story about how he had given him, uh, his, his fan had given him one of his chemotherapy bracelets, sort of, you know, as a... Uh, something for him to hold on to, I guess. Uh, and he uh, he uh, let the crowd, you know, let him in the ring, uh, get the crowd give him a standing ovation, uh, and he pinned Johnny Gargano to become the new Prime Wrestling Champion. So uh, that that was a really uh, awesome thing to see. Prime Wrestling's been doing a lot of great, great stuff. Uh, I, I just wanted to point that out there because I did uh, get a chance to see that and want to uh, address it on the show. I definitely mm-hmm. encourage you to check that out. I believe the YouTube channel is Prime Wrestling. Uh, if you want to see the clip from that, so yeah, it, it is actually Prime Wrestling TV. Yeah, and Prime I actually TV. haven't been uh, keeping up too well on them uh, since since helping out with the uh, Resolution uh, I pay per view uh, at the end of last summer. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm hearing really great things coming from up there. Of course, they're all over YouTube, so there is no reason not to watch them. It's a good, you know, it's probably the best produced independent uh, you're going to find out there that's on TV doing this thing. You can watch it for free. Uh, online there's no reason to check it out and get into it and it's, it's a really good t- talent out of the cleveland area and beyond they have like guys like zach gow and uh rhino's been in there uh, uh you know, jimmy jacobs, jimmy jacobs uh, was in there i don't think he's in there currently uh guys like gregory irons and uh, uh, uh you know a ton of ton of great talent going up there friends of the show like gory and uh facade uh i think aiden vale's been starting to pop up i think sh- Maybe. Uh, I think Matthew Justice. Uh, Matthew maybe. Justice has been in there as well. Uh, so yeah, great, great uh, run of talent. Bobby Shields, Bobby, Bobby Beverly, uh, Nick Valentino, guys like that. Uh, so yeah, definitely go check that out. It's good, good. Matt Cross, God, how, how can I not mention him and Marion Fontaine? So, um, so yeah. With that, let's go see what's going on in gold for this week on the Mayhem Show app. And uh, a little preview, guys, on video. You're going to see uh, a little bit of Cap and Dad RWA Fury 4 that we talked about briefly uh, last week on this show. Wait, what happened? <laughs> no, I, was I there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi, what pill did you take? We're going to figure out the orange where one. Chachi's at. Oh, no. And we'll be back it said, after this. Smile, fun times. Comments made about how fast they were going. Like we get it, they're driving super fast. Like, what's it like being on a plane with you? Do you know how fast we're flying right now? Yeah, you said it five minutes ago. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. It's shadow hanging over me. I'm gonna say Martina. No. Close. I thought the same thing. Close. Oh, it's actually... still sunny. I'm trying to get a bullseye. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. If you want to come and get it when I spit it, I'm the best to rip it, best to whip it. Yeah, that's a P on the fitted. On a mission to get in and flip the team, I'm winning. Whizzy sipping, I'm sick of the B in every sentence. Sick of them, we never that. Never rap, never rap, never taking the time to look back on it. 
Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, of course, because you're, you're halfway through. Where else would you really have been coming from? Um, this is the part of the show where we like to think back and uh, remember when. This week, I thought it would be appropriate. We're talking about a little bit about NASCAR, big stuff going on there, um, and some not so great stuff going on there, of course, this weekend. Uh, but of course, I thought it'd be good to talk about uh, your favorite vehicle-related moments in professional wrestling. Uh, you, the first, you're like, oh, what, what are we talking about? You know, it, it's it. There was vehicles have been involved a lot in wrestling, um, crashes. Um, um, Ambulances, uh, explosions, etc. Uh, 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 haulers of liquid substances. Uh, so I wanted to go around the table and say, "Hey guys, uh, what do you guys have?" One, uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. I the, the Chachi wants to go first. What you got? Uh, and I can't narrow it down to two. Um, I, I'm gonna go with the uh, the limo explosion that killed Vince McMahon that they had to break. Okay. Um, that was the most, like, startling one, wasn't yeah. it? Like, really? Like, holy shit, they blew up the limo! <laughs> and like, then, uh, two days later, the storyline had to end because of an uh, unfortunate it was accident. More than, like, two days. Yeah. That was the next week. You may have been exaggerating for effect, Wrestle fan. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you remember earlier when you sent a tweet out saying that uh, you need to get better at opening your mouth and saying something? <laughs> yeah, you really don't. Turn that back around, man. Yeah, turn that back around. Shut up. Um, and then the other is the Kurt Angle uh, milk truck. God damn it. <laughs> which was Aww. which was uh, more entertaining than the, the beer truck because it was milk. Yeah. Exactly. It was like he was squirting it out of a giant boob. <laughs> In the shape of a truck. <laughs> what about you, Bobby? <laughs> well, Chachi took mine. But I'm going to go with um, the Corvette that Vince McMahon had that uh, – I think it – was it Stone Cold that poured the cement into it? Yeah. And filled it up and the windows just cracked. That cement went everywhere. Oh, that was amazing. I want to I see that, footage of the cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> Who had to do that? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Mine. Wrestle fan? Uh, mine was um, from back one of my favorite feuds, like around when I started getting to wrestling, which was Kane versus Shane McMahon. Okay. Uh, and some people remember, you know, like Shane getting his testicles electrocuted, and That's uh, Kane being related. thrown into a Kane being thrown into a dumpster that was lit on fire. But my favorite was when uh, they like brawled on like the opening segment to the back, and there was a limo there, and so Shane goes into the limo through the, the roof, through the, uh, I guess, the open uh, roof or whatever. Kane follows him in, uh, and Shane is able to get out the side, but he tied his belt to, like, the gear shift. So when he, so before Kane can get out, he locks the doors, rips the belt so it turns on the gears, and the car runs right into, like, a semi-truck. And just shatter like it just the, to, the the limo gets totaled, and that's when I learned that Kane can survive car crashes. <laughs> well, to be fair, so could the Rock. Man, what about you, Papa Lunchbox? Triple H could survive. Or, uh, go ahead. Um, I, I also like Chachi can only narrow it down to two. Um, the first one is any time Big Show flips over a car. I feel like he's done it more than once. If he's only done it once, then that. Um, and the other <laughs> thing is, well, after the American badass came and went, um, after the Disciples of Apocalypse, and and uh, after a third example I can't think of, there was one man that wanted to keep the tradition alive, the tradition of riding a motorcycle oh, yes. to the ring. And that man's name? <laughs> Chucky P. Chuck Palumbo, <laughs> that's right. With oh, his crazy no. lariat and his leather pants and his greased up chest. Uh, that's right, folks. Chucky P. Riding his motorcycle around like an idiot. <laughs> wow. wow. I don't remember why. And before we go to Sorg. Uh, <clears throat> but there was a... Uh, 
a match that had Rikishi in it where they had like a hay truck at the ringside. Oh, yeah. The that six was, uh... way hell in the cell mm-hmm. that Rikishi fell into. Yeah. yeah. Kane went Does on anyone the top? remember why remember the hay why truck the was hay. there? No. No. Okay, as long as it's not just me. <laughs> no, can't really re- recall, no. Uh, Halloween Havoc. Memorable is uh, the time that it, there was a, some match. It doesn't matter. Uh, I believe it was a year after... Do, 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 I, I want to say it was a year after like Stone Cold was, uh, was hit by a car. And he came back. And... Maybe maybe I'm mixing them, but I just remember him coming back, uh, cornering uh, Triple H in a car, and yes. then picking it up on like uh, uh, from you know some heavy equipment and dropping the car. That's what I was about to mention. It was a forklift. No, no, it wasn't forklift. It was something else. Um, yeah, yeah. And he just, like dropped the car on 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 its top. Triple H can also survive death. Yes, yes, and car wrecks. So, <laughs> I, and it's many more. I mean, we can bring up uh, WWE, WWF uh, Crush Hour on the PlayStation Two. Any NASCAR from the chat room, uh, uh, Flair getting in and out of a limo with the ladies after winning the IC belt. Um, Rey Mysterio versus Hoover Two in ECW. Giant versus uh, Hogan Monster Truck always gets brought up. Gilbert <laughs> hitting Lawler with a car. Repo Man. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> oh, sorry, guy. I think I, I was talking to you about this one. Mike Awesome, awesome bombing Shaggy Two Dope from uh, the seventies bus. Yeah, you know, no, he he he, he, he uh, power bombed him onto the top of the bus. Then then Shaggy slid off. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, clip. yeah, and like jacked his uh, his ankle on one of the lights by the stage. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Um, oh, hey, Goldberg, when he uh, sliced his uh, like tendon on his arm, punching out a, a window in a limo. Oh, there yeah. You go. yeah. There you go. A lot, a lot of vehicles have been used a lot in pro wrestling, amazingly. Uh, they used lot, banned vehicles WCW. from backstage. <laughs> yeah, WCW loved it. Who's in, the black li- who's in the black Hummer? Who's in the white Hummer? Who's in the white limo? Oh. One, of my, one of my favorites that we- I've seen. Uh, was when uh, Kevin Nash was feuding with Randy Savage, and mm-hmm. that's when Randy had a uh, gorgeous George Medusa and uh, who, whatever Molly Holly's character was, uh, and they get in a limo to leave the show, and like Kevin Nash corners them somehow, and it has a like po- uh, whatever it's called. it's a truck that carries like poop, and he fills like the, and he sticks it through the roof of the car, and he fills the whole limo with poop. Yeah. Not the first he thing. called the shit poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop truck. Uh, Thurman Sparky plug Goldberg's car yeah. not starting and then running after another car. <laughs> did, did anybody mention Kofi Kingston attacking Randy Orton on the NASCAR? Uh, and then immediately oh, yeah, losing shit. his push. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was great. Um, all right, with that, let's hop over to, and uh, wait for your honorable mention, I want to leave you with this before we go to Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Mayhemers, it's Mad Mike, once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Again, I'm at work. Sorry for the decor. I should really draw something on the back of that wall or something. I should have a screen so I won't do that because I'd be destruction of property and I'd get fired. But anyway, um, so it looks like we have our Mania main event. Cena and The Rock, twice in a lifetime. This time it's even more G.I. joe ear or whatever you want to call it. And Cena's going to win. So... Uh, what I mean, what else is there to look forward to at WrestleMania? Punk and Undertaker, where you know, Undertaker's gonna win. Triple H Lesnar, where Triple H is gonna win. Uh, that's really all we have so far, isn't it? I mean, we have Swagger and Del Rio, if that still happens, you know. I mean, fuck, Swagger could be arrested for doing lines off of Hooker's ass tomorrow. We don't know. He's crazy. Um,. Oh, and there's that little guy with a briefcase who could be cashing it in. Hopefully. Maybe. God willing, if we're all lucky. But, um, I'd like to propose another match. I don't think it'll happen, because I think he's going to have something to do with the shield. But Ryback and Mark Henry. That would be a lot of fun, I think. I think that would be a really, really good match. 
especially since Mark Henry doesn't really have anything to do. And can't really tell what they're doing with Sheamus yet. Is he going to feud with Wade Barrett, or is he going to feud with The Shield? I don't know. It's going to be weird. They just better not pair Wade Barrett with The Shield. Wade Barrett has been in charge of enough factions. He doesn't need another one. Um, so, lockdown is coming up. Russell fan, I hope you got your tickets. Um, it's not this week, it's next week, but I make this promise to you, the Mayhem crew. If Bully Ray is revealed as the leader of Ace and Ace and wins the championship from Jeff Hardy, I think I'm going to have to go back to reviewing TNA again. Especially if they're going to be on the road. Because I got to say, the England shows were not bad. I'm curious to see what the Chicago one's going to be like. But, um, yeah, so I think that's it. Oh, Donald Trump in the Hall of Fame for doing things. Um, I just hope he drops money on MSG again so I can get me some of that fat Trump cash. All right, well, uh, this is Mad Mike for the minute. Peace, bitches. Thank you. Let's Thanks, punch Mad Mike, Mike for that minute of mayhem. You want to do Thank that? you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted, I was I was just trying to say the same thing as you at the same time to freak you out. I'm sorry. That didn't work. <laughs> no, it, it didn't, didn't work. work. No, 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 it didn't. Said you you got went me. a different route. So thank you, man, Mike, for that minute of mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Jinx. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jinx. Chachi. Jinx. Ch- well, first, before we get to the thing that pisses Chachi off. Wait, what pisses me off this week? We already, we already did the indie minute. No, yeah. there's more. Uh, I want Bobby F. J. Tom to give us uh, the comments from the Unwatched matches, Masses. <gasps> I love this segment. I have it this week. <laughs> You're <laughs> here. You remembered, and I'm here. Can't find it now. Oh, no. <laughs> In preparedness. <laughs> okay. Um, this week, comments from the un- un- Unwatched Masses. Uh... John Cena is a 10-time WWE champion. Sting, well, is a zero-time WWE champion. Sting is a loser. John Cena is a true legend. (laughs) (laughs) That is logic, my friends. I'm not... This one is from... That that one was from uh, Antonio Garza. Or Zero 2K, as he's otherwise known. It wasn't said by Antonio Garza. No, it wasn't said by Antonio Garza. It was sent to us by Antonio Garza. Mm. This one was sent to us by Mr. Alexander Kars. I think it's in a different language. I'm not sure. Um, But this was in reply to Backstage Fallout. (laughs) C-Pi de O-O, Mark Henry Robash. What the hell? (laughs) That works. Um, I'm on board. (laughs) Sound that works for me. And then this is one I found. It was uh, for the SmackDown preview post. We want the PG 13 era back. Cursing, blood, bra, and panties matches, pyrotechnics, and all that good stuff. From the SmackDown <laughs> preview post. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we don't have pyrotechnics nowadays. Yeah, no, pyrotechnics yeah, are yeah. Gone. Apparently, yeah. apparently not. Wow. Uh, thank you very yeah. much for that. Uh, just uh-huh. a look as, into the minds of the Matt casual wrestling. The room, I never want blood in my bra and panties matches. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm. um, Side note, that robot has blades on his knuckles. So, I, you know, I... I, I, I I, there's this thing, this story that came up here in the Pittsburgh area. I think we need to address. Okay. Uh, do you want we... it? <laughs> <laughs> it? It does have to do with indie wrestling. Uh, it does have to. Maybe it should have been in your indie minute uh, report then. Uh, so, nah, so no. Sherry is facing charges tonight after police say. So basically, there's this wrestler. I don't have audio on this, but basically, there's this wrestler that goes by Kid Lightning. And these ah. pink tights. This is actually we got a heads up on this on our board from a board from a uh, fan of the show Matt Carlin's. Hi Matt, friend, uh, friend in the mainstream media. Yes, friend mm-hmm. in the mainstream media. So I, I'm gonna play a little bit of this. I I, I don't know if uh, a local KDKA has uh, YouTube polling policies, but uh, other than that, so this fellow apparently 
if I can get the story right. Uh, on New Year's Eve, Choke put his, his girlfriend in, I think, a sleeper hold, they said, uh, that she passed out. And when uh, they found, when the police arrived, um, he, he was in a wrestling stance. Uh, to combat them. Uh, the fun part in this, uh, again, I don't have the audio up. I'm sorry, a uh, problem with the system. Uh, but they, the, the, the comment is, when the police found him in a wrestling stance, they knew they were dealing with a trained fighter. <laughs> and with huh. this picture. What exactly is a wrestling stance, anyway? Was he, like, down on the ground on all, flo- all fours? No, 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 I think he means, like, attempting to, like, lock up. Yeah, no, no, that's, I mean, like, you know. I like, wonder if like, I wasn't telling a joke just now, Wrestle Fan. <laughs> okay, I wonder if well, he didn't I'm just sorry. explain the joke I was making. He got, he got down on his knees <laughs> and pointed up like Sabu. I thought it was a physical. <laughs> and then the question. lights went out. And then... <laughs> so, I mean, this You're guy... talking to someone that's on the show every week. <laughs> like, of course he fucking knows what a wrestling stance is. Well, no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's a wizard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Russell fan. I've been nice to you for the majority of the evening, but that made no sense. You broke my head. We were talking about. Uh, of course, he knows what a wrestling stance is. <laughs> Fuck! Wow! Wow! And the story breaks us. I'm um, sorry, and of course, to the point where they had a little fun with this on the, on, on on the freak show in the morning as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, so. someone asked if they did the uh, the arm test. <laughs> <laughs> was there a referee there to test to make sure this lady? Yeah, was that was asleep? Riz. I think it was Riz. Uh, yeah, the referee was there. There was no report of a referee being present to test the lady <laughs> to find out if she was actually asleep or mm-hmm. to see if she would hulk out of it. So yeah, that story's over <laughs> on KDK former semi-pro wrestler arrested I mean, and the, the, the semi-pro wrestler I, I don't know about <laughs> that is, is that is that right like he's almost a pro I mean it, oh. like, like I had my, ex- my issue with it is the fact that his name was Kid Lightning and look but, at him. but he's like a 34 year old he's a big guy basement. so if anything his name should have been like I don't know Kid Thunder or <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not it's even ironic. Thunder. Uh, middle-aged thunder. <laughs> and there was like a comment here about his return to wrestling, wasn't there? Uh coming up. And like he hasn't even wrestled for like well, I guess he, he wrestled for what, Mon Valley something? <laughs> According to this? I I don't know. I also, wonder if he's stiff also, there. Also Mike and Bob said that they treated it like the Royal Rumble with the EMTs and firefighters and the police coming in. <laughs> After 30 seconds, and, and uh, uh, the next uh, EMT or whatever ran, entered the ring. That's the, the next uh, that service, is amazing. service member would enter. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's, I'm sorry. Some local stuff here in the Pittsburgh area. Fayette County. Famous for these stories. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize it was a Fayette County thing until I, didn't I listened know to like, it was this from thing. Fayette County. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah like yeah. I, I started listening to the clip that I, I think AJ sent it over, and I'm like, it started with the Fayette County thing. I was like, oh, he sent me the wrong one. I'm like, oh shit, that was in Fayette County. <laughs> I should have mm-hmm. probably guessed that co- it was. Probably- oh yeah, seriously, <laughs> oh, seriously. Man. Um, so yeah, yeah, and, and they actually, and the footage they had uh, was actually from a different one, and. <laughs> And he's like, I love the comment where he goes, I don't even know why they're bringing up the fact that I'm a former wrestler. <laughs> what, one, they found a picture of you in pink tights. You, Two, you, you choked her- out the girlfriend and did a wrestling stance when the cops showed up. You're a trained fighter. You, What's a wrestling stance you again? You put your fan? girlfriend to sleep and then you tried to wrestle the first public service member that showed up. <laughs> no, sir. This is not a gauntlet match. Uh, you do not take on everyone that shows up. I think he just thought the guy was had like a cop gimmick. <laughs> you think? Oh no, it's a run-in. <laughs> it's a police oh, music, music I hear. Oh, it's a cheap big boss man. I gotta wrestle this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand is if if the girlfriend he knocked out his girlfriend, who called the cops? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a party or something. I was I was drunk. I did drink. I oh, so he was Hold just on. showing off wrestling moves, and she accidentally fell asleep, and they called the cops anyhow. What the hell? <laughs> at home. 
This is why you need a referee present at all times. <laughs> it's saying that he was accused of putting a woman in what's described in court papers as a submission hold. She claims, according to the, she was passed out for about 10 minutes. It should have tapped. <laughs> when they tried to subdue him, he assumed a wrestling stance and actually charged at the officers. What they didn't say. What they, the rope, bitch. what they didn't say was Dolph Ziggler showed up after everything was done and tried to cash it in on her. That's what he's trained. <laughs> it's what he's trained to do. He ran at the cops because they set up a hip toss, but the cop didn't hip toss. But it's him. all okay because Randy Orton showed up out of nowhere and subdued the assailant. <laughs> Oh, um, and everything's oh better. I, say, I want someone to like. I want a cop to try to arrest someone, and then the guy just like sunset flip over him, and then just run out the door. <laughs> after, after That'd be the greatest. Done, Randy Orton pe- pooped in his gym bag, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, "Job well done." All right. That was, uh, wow! Wow! Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the cops got the power, and Taker showed up on town. Um, <laughs> all right, and, and I think I think it's only appropriate to follow that up with something like this. Um, he pissed his pants. <laughs> Vince Mixer showed up again yes. thanks to our friends at the Kiss Morning Freak Show uh, of, of, of Triple H up on Brock's uh, uh, <laughs> shoulders. Looks like he he peed himself, pooped himself, something. <laughs> he called this shit poo. <laughs> no, seriously. The best part of uh, Brock's return when he was feuding with John Cena was that promo that he cut where he said that John Cena was going to piss and shit his pants. Like, and this is fulfillment of that. It's happening. <laughs> He's pooping. Uh, and not to mention, and this is a... Uh, I, I, Riz was on top of this one. Uh, and um, I'll bring it up. I'm in the wrong Mayhem show thing. But, because, uh, I mean, I showed up. I was about ten minutes late. And I was like, hey, well, what happened? They're like, oh, yeah, they, like, uh, started fighting and they scissored. I was like, oh, you know, which is, like, what I <laughs> usually hear in a hangout on Monday night, right? Uh, then we turn into, onto uh, WWE.com and the first image you see about probably 20 minutes later, and we see this. Scissoring! They were scissoring! Scissoring each other. They so, missed each other. They missed each other. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clatter our nutsacks together in joy. <laughs> oh, other than that, seriously, though. So, Brock Lesnar, Triple H, what do we think? Okay. It's That's what I expected. Is. It's what That's I expected the minute... It's what I expected the minute Triple H left. It's, um... It's fine. I mean, I, I'm cool with that. It, it's uh, it, it's it's cool. You know, uh, from what I saw, it was like holy crap. They went at it. Uh, they started off with a crazy fight. Um, I still want to rewatch like the first ten minutes to see what I missed leading into it. Because when I showed up and Brock Lesnar's bleeding, I'm like, holy crap! It's ten after. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I I thought that was great. You know, that no, the bleeding was awesome. The bleeding the, the uh, really the helped with the whole. Awesome. I guess just drama of it all. Yeah, because honestly, yeah. with. I think without it, I wouldn't have cared as much. Well, it still looked like a pretty vicious fight they they, they put together. So so mm. you know, I thought it was fine. <laughs> I remember when and there's a Sparky plug in the uh, Mayhem mm. board on Facebook. Uh, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, you know, it's something to build up. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a WrestleMania moment, and I'm looking forward to it. You know. Um, what about anything uh, I was going to bring up earlier? Uh, okay, we have Donald Trump in the Hall of Fame in the celebrity wing. I don't um, know why people are mad about it. I don't. I don't get why people are mad at Dietrich. I think he's done more than somebody like Drew Carey has. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, he's done a lot. A- AJ. Yeah. What? Bo Diggity was mad last night. Yeah, but I guess Bo Diggity wasn't mad. I, I thought. I thought one of us here was mad about that. Chachi, were you I mad get, about that? I don't fucking care. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I understand why he should be in it. Yeah. But I don't understand why the WWE should bother to have a celebrity win. It's for publicity. It's but, I stupid. Mean, the whole thing's It's to dumb. To be honest. None of those people deserve to be in it. What, Pete Rose and... Drew Carey. Drew Carey so far, right? Yeah. Well, what? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, well, if you count... Uh, what's the football player that was in it? That was in like, the WrestleMania 2 uh, it, thing. Is it The Fridge? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, William yeah. Refrigerator Perry. Um, isn't Bob Euchre in there too? I think he is. I yeah, think he is. Yeah, yeah. 
So I, I like Bob I, Uecker. I, I would like there. to see someone like Cindy Lauper in there. Yeah, and I think it's only. I think that's inevitable. Um, Piper's in there already, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. And Captain um, Lou. Sure. Well, time for Wikipedia. So Lou, <laughs> Captain Lou is in there. Captain Lou is in there. Yeah, I would have would have thought they would have put a, a, you know, Cindy Lauper in alongside them. Or yeah, something, yeah. or maybe they're just waiting for her to die or put out. But no, album. If, but yeah, you, if you compare it to Drew Carey, like Donald Trump has done so much more than Drew Carey. Drew Carey has done the equivalent of every Raw guest host. Guys, why not induct the Muppets? Oh, uh, definitely the Muppets. Oh yeah, Muppets, for sure. They should be in there. Maybe do it next year when their movie comes out. <laughs> there you go. But and yeah, I'm all for that. But like, that's the same thing as Drew. Like they're on the same level as Drew Carey. No, they've been on more things than anybody. They've been on ever. Two. They hosted wrestling two Raws. The Muppets, the Muppets did was things with wrestling, wrestling before you were born. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is probably true. Ra- Rowdy sure Roddy Piper Holly was a is Muppet. a member. He was inducted in 2005. Okay, that's right. That's right. Wasn't Crash Holly a Muppet? Um, true. Oh. You really right. never put Crash Holly in. He's Would they? Muppet. Yeah, they should. Crash they, Holly. If if they put Owen Hart in, they should put Crash Holly in. They haven't put yeah. Owen Hart in. No, they I haven't. know. I'm saying for future reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if they ever will put in Owen in. Um. Yeah. I forgot. The Sadly. Name. Yeah. So yeah, Donald Trump. That's There's cool. a he, whole he, list of people that should be in there before Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and well, every, there's a whole list of and Bruno every, San Martino should have been there before anybody. That was his mm-hmm. choice, though. Yeah, I know, I know. But it, it, yeah, yeah, it Crash Holly, in. Owen Hart, and I'm gonna say it, but Chris Benoit. Yeah, yeah. It, it, they need to be in there before any celebrities start going in. It's plain people could have been in there before Edge, right? Yeah, so there's shouldn't a, happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Do you think do you think people could have been in there before Guerrero? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean it's since, one of those... since they did it immediately after or the same, you know, around the same time and when I he think died. It's, I think it's fine in that case cuz it's a it's a case for them to commemorate him while it's still fresh to kind of mm-hmm. deal with that. Be like this is a nice thing we're doing for its family. Um <laughs> before we shit on the family for the rest yeah, for like 6 yeah, years before we hire the family and make them do weird things. Um yeah, yeah. Which uh side side sidebar. Um um holy crap uh uh what's his face? Um Brad Maddox. Brad Maddox. God, yes. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. Brad Maddox. Oh man, I there was more of the stuff was on like main event really. Um, but they had like a seg- one segment on Raw. What's the main event? I know. Shut up, Jaji. Okay. The thing I doze off to every Wednesday night. <laughs> um, not for it being a bad show, it's just I'm that tired on Wednesday nights. Uh, yeah. No, no, I, I like what they're doing with it. That's it. That's all. That's it. Red um, Red okay. Has anybody been following the Glenn Beck issues over the last week? Mm. Don't care. Don't care. We're over that now. No, like seriously. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. I can talk about it. WWE shouldn't have done what they were doing. Why not? I, I, I'm on their side, and I'm completely, in, you know, their opinion is completely in the right. Them doing the video with uh, Jack and uh, Zeb Coulter breaking character yeah. and ad- directly addressing Glenn Beck was stupid. I think it was a little weird. I, I tweeted it last night. Uh-huh. The fact that Glenn Beck trended on Twitter during Raw is the exact reason why they shouldn't have done it. Why not? Why not? Uh, it's just giving him publicity. And, and by giving him publicity, they're getting their own publicity because they're Who getting cares? the whole point. Just like we talk about with like, oh, why do they, they have, have such and such in? Why is The Rock the champion? They don't. They, Wrestle fan, Vince McMahon has the world's large. Like, Vince McMahon loves Vince, three things. Vince McMahon loves three things in his life, okay? Cocaine. Uh, guys and girls are pro. fucking huge, bigger than they should be, and mainstream publicity. That's why uh, I, I agree that they shouldn't have started this because it's like the Indiana Jones boulder. It's just going to keep fucking rolling and rolling. Uh, you know, people are paying attention and saying shit because Zeb Coulter's be, being a dick, and you know, 
that's mainstream attention. Well, we've got to put the belt on Swagger. We've got to get them front and center every single week. That's why we had him this week talking in Ms. TV. You know, Robert, or Alberto Del Rio wasn't part of that segment. He was just standing there while Zeb Coulter had an excuse to talk. Yeah. Ico Pro is number four on the things he loves. Oh, yes, yes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> number five is the XFL. Yeah. XFL. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, w, Linda six is, is not on that list. Number six is the WBF. Well, in that case, Tom Hanks is number three. Yeah. Tom, Hanks. Tom Hanks is number three on every list. Yeah, Tom Hanks is number three on every list. Every list imaginable. This is true. Good call. This is That's true. a good call. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I support anything to do with Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I think it's going. I I, I like what they're doing uh, with the with the Zeb Swagger thing. I think it's really interesting. Uh, like I said it, again, I don't want to sound like we're really excited about racism, but uh, it it's a pretty <laughs> angle. We're excited for racism happening on the right side. What you know uh, that. That a heel is doing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So and I'm really curious to hear some uh, from some people that that I think do trail, you know, a little bit legitimately does, on this I, side. The, you know. There is a bit of a problem because you do see signs in the crowd that say "We the People," and there are people that are cheering for Jack Swagger. Dude, we're cheering for the "We're the People." We're like "We the People," you know, because we're like kind of mocking it, though, you know, because we're like, we're very, "Oh, we're this happy. is great." People aren't in the crowd saying, "I'm going to cheer the good guy and boo the bad guy." because I, I'm not going to cheer CM Punk because I think he's good because I like he's being a big asshole, you know? We're, we're, we're chanting We the People because we're like, you're a big asshole and I'm really entertained by you. Uh, also, that's, okay, that's what it is, is it, now. As long as it's that, uh, it's not like having to do with racism. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they aren't cheering him because he is racist. Yeah. Like yeah I think that's what it falls down to. There's a huge and also, part of this, the, this wrestling community that's cheering this because they agree with the things he is saying. Okay. Like last night when he said that all these Mexicans are coming over and taking people's jobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, that wasn't, oh, we're going to cheer, cheer the heel. Where were they? Where were they last night? Jerk or jerks. I, Dallas. I don't know. Dallas, yeah. Dallas? Okay. Oh, so that's even better. <laughs> they were about, pretty close to the border. <laughs> they're talking about Mexicans stealing jobs in a place where... Mexicans are t- taking jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and and I, from what I understand, I think in New York City they get a pretty good chant too, right? right. So, um, so that is an interesting. I mean, I that is kind of interesting, isn't I it? I don't care. I, uh, it says on the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Bring me your tired, your hungry, your huddled masses. Yeah. Poor. So yeah. And poor. Oh, and poor. And poor yeah. And whatever. And drunk. No, it doesn't say drunk. No, I think it. it says. I think it says drunk. There was a translation error that, that we did get a lot of Irish from the original French. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> you know she's French. There's a yeah. I know she's French. Mm-hmm. She hey, <laughs> you think she wears she wears underwear under that? No. Nah. I like it when you roughhouse. Uh, she doesn't. <laughs> I like the way you work it. No uh, diggity. There's a. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the majority of the people. <laughs> that was a weird mix of Ghostbusters 2 references and other shit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, um, I, so, uh, I don't know what you learned. I, I can't go any further. Somebody, somebody talk, please. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> oh, fuck. I learned it. that uh, Dolph Ziggler cannot, well, can... Uh, it sell against Ryback very well. Okay. And he's got a lot to work with. <laughs> no, he doesn't. That's the. You take a big move, you take a big bump. Dolph Ziggler loves to kill himself for yeah. somebody. Yeah. Shawn Michaels was the same way. He doesn't have a lot to work with. What was the one? What did they talk about? Like, like Mike, Michaels wrestling a broom or something. Or no, no, the, 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 they actually said on the. I, I watched the uh, the uh, Heartbreak and Triumph Shawn yeah. Michaels uh, doc on Netflix, and they actually said that Shawn Michael. They kind of like under the radar said wrestle. Uh, Shawn Michaels could pretty much wrestle that ladder at WrestleMania ten <laughs> and have a good match, and he mostly did. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> which you hear a lot, but that's it. Oh, okay, that's, that's all you got. Okay, I'll be. 
I was playing with my hair. Uh, I, I learned that if you take a melatonin at 8.30 p.m., you miss almost all of Raw. Mm. Oh. Mm. You did go to bed early. I did, because I took we a melatonin at, at 8 p.m. You left. That, that was the wrestling? Yeah. Okay, wrestle fan. Uh, I learned from wrestling this week but, uh, that this time, directly because of WWE, Jerry Lawler is going to have another heart attack on TV. <laughs> Seriously, why are, you, why are you sponsored by Sonic? And why is, Jack, uh, why is Jerry Lawler eating his and Michael Cole's meat? He ate it out of his hand. He, he did. He's like, no, mouth. don't take these tater jaws. I've had those Sonic's popcorn chicken before. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack afterwards. <laughs> Dude, uh, the cheesy, cheesy uh, chili tots are amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, BFJ Town. Everything at Sonic is terrible. <laughs> oh, no, it was delicious, week. but I felt like I was going to have a heart attack afterwards. I learned this week. Wait. Oh, I forgot what I was going to. I learned. I can't know. remember. Oh, oh, that. um. CM Punk and John Cena had a hell of a match on Raw. Maybe match of the year candidate so far. Um, and the other thing I learned was if you listen to a second wrestling podcast this week, or wrestling focus podcast this week, Mick Foley was on the Nerdist podcast. Really, really informative, good episode with him. Uh, uh, it was it was very good. So. And if you're going to listen to a third podcast this week, I'd say listen to Art of Wrestling with Chuck Taylor. I didn't yes. know that. I wish I knew that he was like a video schooled professional. I might have actually struck up a conversation with him. Uh, so, yeah, that, w- that was interesting. I, I learned I'm not I want to try not to miss the first 10 minutes of Raw. Cause, yeah, and I'm usually like, oh, I gotta go watch Raw, you know. Um, and, and lately, like I had a meeting, I'm like, yeah, I'm just for ten minutes, whatever, you know. And and, I, and I'm usually not like that, especially with Raw. But this three hour thing has been like, yeah, whatever, I'll watch for ten minutes. Yeah, and I've not been like that for the how many years have I been watching Raw since about ninety eight, um, like religiously. So that's that's been interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, from the chat room. Uh, well, uh, well. First of all, uh, in the doc, Mad Mike let us know that he learned that Russell fan will never be happy, even when Cena tried to explain his move set. Mm-hmm. No, I love the match. I love the match. I'm just the the rule. There's an unset. You know, I guess it's sort of talking about rule in wrestling. I mean, if you don't do it well, don't do it. And John Cena, I know you busting out of her Karana makes the internet. John get Cena, it was feet. John Cena busting out of her Karana. Holy crap! And he crap. did. And he what did. the hell was yeah. that? And he did horribly. <laughs> it was his new move. The Cena can't run. The important Rana. thing is he tried. No, the Cena can't run. That's not important at all. It's nice that he tried. It's weird. He's done it twice and he's fucked it up both times. The only reason he, he does it best. is so the internet can jerk off. So it's his seventh move. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with doing something so the internet can jerk off? That's what we do this show every week so that people can listen to us and get off at the sound of our voices, wrestling fans. Listen, listen. All we're looking for is reasons to jerk off the wrestling. Yeah, that's why the demons are there. Uh, no. (laughs) No, No, I'm not jerking off the wrestling. (laughs) There's an entire internet out there of porn. I am not jerking off the wrestling. No. Remember when Hogan used to hit the Rana? What? When? <laughs> uh, and the chat room just scared me. I learned that. I forgot what I was going to say. Bobby. Uh, no. What? No, that was what I said. Uh, was Alex learned Bobby. that TNA is broken and I'm better off watching paint dry. Riz just learned just that apart. we don't have respect for the future Hall of Famer, the great Kali. Uh, and there you go. Uh, <laughs> and Texas Arnicky just paused me, pointing at the camera so he could jerk off. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can join us live for this, uh, I'm sorry, live.sorgatronmedia.com at about 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, uh, of course, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com on iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, Flip TV, Roku, and YouTube in video and audio forms. Drop us a line at... Good times! Good times, Good times at yep. Wrestling Mayhem Show.
Dot com. Four one two two zero six WMS zero nine six seven zero. You can also buy the app, please. Dollar ninety nine iOS App Store, Amazon App Store for your Android devices. Also, please hey go check out InsertCoinToBegin.com, that wonderful site that Shashi, Riz, Bobby, and a couple of girls and Fuzzwad uh, right on and have yeah. a podcast yeah, called Let's that. Play that we do at 8 p.m. Yeah. or so yeah, we do uh, every that. Tuesday also at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Yeah, Awesomecast.com if you're into some tech stuff. Yeah, that happens. Uh, and Sorgatronmedia.com is where you find all of this stuff and nonprofit news, other projects, wrestling DVDs from the Pittsburgh area, all kinds of fun stuff. That thank definitely you. happens. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. He uh, is not lying. Thank you for our patronages. Please tell a friend if you enjoyed this. Uh, whatever this was. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.